big in the boat. 15 times worth its value. Oh, buddy. I feel like we could make it 15 times worth what you paid for it if we put 3,500 into it. I'm good. <laughs> All right, guys, what's going on? You guys missed the last boat video. We got the boat back from our buddy Ron down in Mantua Township. I picked it up last night. I got home at like two in the morning, but it was nice to actually have the boat back. We got it home doing minor maintenance. My father already is just like, I gotta clean this thing. This thing is horrendously dirty. Just kind of want to update every little process of it, guys. There's a lot of work. You know, looking at this a little like a little bit more, there's a lot of work to do, but in the end, I know it'll be worth it. And there's two things that I want to try to accomplish today. Number one, I want to definitely spray down the whole uh, boat to see what that aluminum cleaner does. It actually looks night and day already. Another thing that I want to do is I want to, I sprayed sea foam into the, the actual cylinder heads already. Took the spark plugs out and uh, got that all done. I'm just waiting for that to kind of seep in, already turn the, the prop. Cool to get these uh, father and son project. I didn't even really have to ask him. He just came outside and he started power washing the crap out of the boat. So can't thank my father enough. <laughs> That's a good sign. Only issue is water pump doesn't look like it's pumping. Not really sure what's going on with that, but at least she fires up. I thought my water pump wasn't working, but look at all the dirt flying out of the freaking tail. Look at all that dirt, dude. So I thought we had to replace the water pump so far, so good. Hopefully we can clear this out and then we get a good steady stream. That's why you clean it out. Look at that. to YouTube.
all this carpet that's inside because I'm running out of uh, decking anyway. You're just gonna use carpet spray black for now. And then over the winter, we'll do the Eva foam. We would have to do rewire and it'd be a lot of work. So everything that you see here besides the top deck, which is the most important, we're gonna do black, black. Maybe we can turf inside if I have enough. Oh, this is gonna be fun. film too much of like the disassembling but i really didn't want to bore you guys with taking bolts and screws out trilling out rivets now we can actually start the build now that everything's kind of gutted out the game plan is going to be painting the carpet the gray carpet black and then when we can get more eva foam in we'll do the actual camo foam or maybe a different color because as i'm starting to see with all the camo when you're fishing on the deck everything is cool and dandy uh, until you drop a lure or cut a lure or anything like that and all of a sudden it's on the deck somewhere So since the last time you guys have seen the boat, so we got the aluminum cleaner. We got the boat welded underneath the Boats welded underneath the motor starts um, Everything kind of just was more double checking which I'm pretty pumped on so far. I hate these light lantern flies Now taking everything out of the floor was by far pain in the ass I, instead of getting my camera uh, really really dirty what we're gonna do and focus on is the whole entire restoration part of it now the dust the sand I shouldn't have been inhaling it so if I'm sick in the next couple weeks you know why um, but my main objective is to get this thing in the water before summer's over and counting down the days right now but as you can see the main thing that's been haunting me in this whole back panel right here ripping this carpet off and then you could see that the carpet glue is still on it I have this thing where it's called rapid remover it's an adhesive remover that worked on the vet so far it's working it worked for the whole front deck it worked for the floor but it did not work for the back deck I think it was just too hot out and uh, that adhesive instead of it being easy to remove i think we kind of needed a cooler day we have a ton of goodies that haven't we haven't added on the boat yet and i'm really excited but i kind of want to just get this eva deck on it's called high deck from hj deck or high deck uh, on amazon and uh so far it's been really good it's been gluing onto the actual floor and the adhesive backing on it isn't bad at all All right, guys, so we have our deck right here. On here is then lay the turf down. And I just wanted to get some test fits to make sure because we did flip it, everything over. And then we're also gonna try and figure out the floor situation today. If I could get the whole front deck done, I'd be really happy with that. The floor done sometime tomorrow, I think we'll be in good shape. But as of right now, I'm just gonna hold off, really focus on the front deck, and then figure out what we're gonna do with this carpet here. <music> First carpet spray right now. We can just use this because this carpet really isn't that bad. That's on, actually on the side. So cut walls aren't even really that bad. So probably just spray that black for right now. Get the hydro turf on the front. And then if we have enough, then we can do the outside trims in the center of the boat. But right now the front and the rear deck is gonna get hydro turf. <laughs>
my dad cleaned the carb out and it fires right up. I'm gonna enter that clip right now. Thanks to my pops for that. Um, we got the whole entire front deck done. So even our side walls, our side panels, I was gonna start doing a center, like a deck extension, but we're gonna hold off just because I think I'm gonna get a Yeti cooler or something like a cooler there. And then I kind of want to build from that. So the front deck is all good. Don't mind the dirt, but everything is all latched up and ready to rock. All my lids work, everything works. And then now, and then we could work on speakers. I also added the seats in today. These are the leader accessory seats. They aren't bad, man. So everything's kind of just like lightly bolted in just to, for test fitting and whatnot. So today we're going to be working on the high deck uh, from Amazon. It's the EVA foam. We're going to clean. Got the whole entire back cleaned out. Wiring wise, we're gonna try and figure that out. Um, and then also too, we got our speakers and our LEDs that can go around um, provided by Auxbeam. Uh, there was stabilizer in the fuel, so that was pretty good. We'll probably fill that up with uh, 110 or 93 just to kind of mix up what the old gas that we have in there. But she fired right up. She was working perfectly fine. Before it sounded a little, it sounded like it was missing. Now it sounds, it sounds like a freaking 500 cc dirt bike. It's freaking loud. So we're gonna definitely get that done. For right now, this is what the front is, and it looks pretty good. I got a pack, really not that hard, guys. So yeah, it's not perfect. Some of these latches don't line up, so I'm not like Anthony Jones or Tiny Boat Nation, but for being a driveway built, it's not bad. So we're gonna start doing this whole rear deck, prep the rear deck. I'm gonna get all the latches right. There's still some rivets here that need to be popped out and uh, then we can go that. So I kind of wire wheeled it. We're just gonna have to do the best we can with what we got. guys it's the next day i have to show you guys what's going on with the boat um special thanks to hj deck on amazon they had a super good deal on labor day for i think it was like 75 bucks for like a 38 by like 96 or something like that and it got majority of the stuff done where it comes to the boat uh, we did the floor we did the front deck we did the back deck everything looks great best advice i can give you guys when doing eva foam you can do it. This is the first time I've ever used this product. And honestly, it cuts easy, it sticks easy. It's a pretty good deal, if you ask me. It's 10 times better than carpet, I think. And uh, how it you know, weathers, because this boat will be staying outside with a, with a cover on it. We'll do like a six month review down the line, but I think it'll be easy to clean, maybe some simple green on top of the foam and then power wash it. But she's on there, guys. And the best advice I could give you guys when it comes to building your boat is take the time to prep it because I think that's the best way you can actually get anything done with this. And I guarantee you, you will not have a problem with the stuff that HJ Deck makes is as long as you prep your material. We used the wire wheel, we used acetone. We did a couple of things to make sure that this adhesive sticks. It, it stuck easy and then you wouldn't even know there's a seam down the center. I think doing the camo over the, the wood floor style, I think this is a lot easier and like forgivable. So if you've never done EVA foam before, I would highly suggest getting the camo stuff because there's a seam right down the center right here and you guys can't even tell. So it's about to rain today and I just kind of want to give you guys a quick walk around. We are not done whatsoever. with the. We have electronics that we have to do. We have lighting that we have to do. But I think the, the black carpet gives it a little bit of contrast, so I'm pretty pumped on that. 
So let's go show you guys the front deck. I still need to get this carbon panel. I'm gonna put the Motor Guide XI5 on here. Front panel, we put the waterproof resin on the actual wood itself and she stuck on there very nicely. And it honestly gave it more rigidity because being up here on the wood, it kind of felt a little bouncy. Now, I think that resin kind of hardened it up a little bit. Our first box right here, when we do the electronics, I think what we're gonna do is put two batteries up here for the Motor Guide XI5. Here is where I'm gonna probably put all my tackle. The side runners here, um, I'm probably gonna put all our safety equipment and anything that is um, Coast Guard approved. I'm gonna run the rod ties up top and then not worry about it. That'll probably be, you know, something. And then I was gonna build something cool here. I was gonna extend the deck out instead of having this open space but we're gonna be getting a Yeti cooler or some type of cooler soon. I don't wanna, you know, jump ahead and maybe we can, maybe that cooler can be extended for the deck. We put our leader seats on. Honestly, I was pretty pumped. There's a sale, it's like a hundred bucks. You can't beat that for two seats. We got a carbon fiber wheel that I still have to put on. Um, the shifter's all done. We're gonna have to figure out the whole radio situation. We got new speakers. And then in the back here, we did basically everything. So the one thing that I will tell you guys is I kind of messed up and lost a, and like wasted a lot of sheets of uh, EVA foam because I took each and every single panel off, wrapped that first. I should have just, you know, laid and slapped the whole entire rollout like I did for the back. So I'm sure whoever my co-angler is is going to be super happy. So there's a lot that needs to get done. Special thanks to HJ Deck for the opportunity. I'm so pumped, I can't wait to show you guys the final product. And our boat build has been escalating pretty quickly. So I just wanna get it on the water already and see what it does. Thanks to Ron Belota for basically looking over the whole entire boat, checking out the ribs, checking out everything that's underneath the boat, figuring it all out. And then he tuned up our transom in the rear, made sure that was all buttoned up pretty well. My father, I can't thank him enough for getting the motor running perfect. The thing sounds like a 500cc dirt bike. It's absolutely insane. It woke up the whole entire neighborhood and I can't be super pumped on that. So we're gonna get some fishing content soon, guys. We're gonna actually, before perfecting the boat, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this thing out, take this baby out, have a good day on it, see any imperfections that we may have made in the process of uh, doing the Eva foam. We got a lot of we got a lot of content coming your way with both boat stuff, car stuff, and uh, even a, there might be a pit bike stuff going on as well. So I'm pretty pumped. Please like, share, subscribe, guys. If you guys need, have any questions, plug it down below. I will answer all those questions for you guys. And uh, if you guys have any questions about this boat build, man, let me know. We're going to get on them this year, bro. We're going to get on them. So please like, share, subscribe. Thank you again. P appreciate the support. Love you guys. Peace.